welcome to Superior Media. I'd like to introduce you to Kara Flanagan. Kara is running as a member of the Ontario Green Party. So welcome, Kara. We're very excited that you're here today and sharing some of the uh, some of the things that you can bring to the citizens of Sault Ste. Oh, thank you very much. So, Kara, tell us a little bit about your history in Sault Ste. Marie. Well, 30 years ago, I graduated from school and I needed a job, so I moved to Sault Ste. Marie to uh, take a position as an inspector at for public health. And uh, so for 30 years, I've been inspecting restaurants and swimming pools and dog bites and tattoo parlors and water <laughs> systems and, and septic systems uh, to do education and enforcement and compliance with the regulations to protect the public. So you must meet a lot of people in that role. I do, and we're very lucky to have a lot of great people here. So would you say one of your strengths would be outreach in the community? Uh, yes, I'm very comfortable dealing with, with people one-on-one uh, -on -one and in large groups and, and trying to bring people together and moving in a, in a, a different direction so that might not be what they had considered. So, yeah. Right, wonderful. Well, tell me, what is it that made you decide to run provincially? Because I know that in 2015 you ran federally for the Green Party. I did. Well, um, I have always been interested in politics, and I've always voted ever since I turned 18. But I became really, really frustrated. The partisanship, the rhetoric, uh, I didn't want to vote for, I wanted to vote for something mm -hmm. and not against something. Mm -hmm. I wanted to vote by values, and I wanted to put people first. So, and doing things in a different way has always been my way. So, I, I value the honesty and the transparency and the principledness of the Green Party of Ontario. Kara, share with us, what do you see as some of the significant issues moving forward in Sault Ste. Marie? Well, right off, we have this mammoth problem with the SR tax bill. Mm -hmm. uh, hope, we all are hoping that it gets resolved quickly and to the benefit of all of us. Um, under the creditor protection, mm -hmm. um, businesses are still expected to pay their taxes. Our okay. mayor, Carmen uh, Provenzano, um, was on the radio recently and indicated that it's not normal for a business under creditor protection to uh, not pay their taxes. And this is crippling our community. Corporations just can't refuse to pay their taxes. Right. You and I can't refuse to pay our taxes. True and it, this can actually set us up for a very dangerous precedent. Mm -hmm. uh, Sault Ste. Marie should not be alone in this fight right. uh, um, through the courts. Mm -hmm. This precedent okay. could affect every community okay. and every level of government. So we need everybody on board supporting Sault Ste. Marie in getting the tax dollars that we're owed. Right, very good point. So have you started um, getting out there? Have you been able to get out to any of the doors yet, started knocking on any doors? I know you've only recently jumped in, so you yeah. may not have had that chance yet. Yes, I, uh, I, the Green Party here doesn't have people. Okay. <laughs> so uh, the number of volunteers that I have are very limited, and I have currently people helping me doing phoning and stuff okay. like that. Mm -hmm. and. Um, I'm trying to get to as many opportunities to uh, share with people and the events that are organized and the debates. Mm -hmm. So I hope to get our message out that way. Okay. Please feel free to e email me. Uh, I'm on the Green Party of Ontario website okay. under the by-election and there's contact information there. So right now you're open to people coming in and supporting your campaign. That would be wonderful. And uh, the best thing is to remind everyone to vote because that is your voice, that's mm -hmm. your power. And if you don't vote, you've actually given a voter double the power. Hmm. And in this case, in this election, um, it's a free election because we're not going to change the fact that we're gonna have a liberal uh, majority okay. for another year when we come back and do this again. Mm -hmm. uh, so people can vote for what they want, they can vote freely, they can send a very strong message to Queen's Park that they don't like what, what we have been doing. Uh, we have a history of uh, we don't like them, so we vote them, and we don't like them now, we, so we vote them. It just turns into a funny circle. So, and I think it's very appropriate that Sault Ste. Marie, which is the um, alternative energy capital of North America, mm -hmm. and we don't say that enough. Mm -hmm. As the alternative energy capital of North America, it would be so appropriate to send the first green MPP to Queen's Park. Representing. Very good point. Thanks. All right. 
Well, I think that that's, uh, that's okay. pretty much everything I had to ask. Okay. So I'd like to thank you, Kara, very Great. much. Is there anything else that you'd like to add? Please feel free. This is an opportunity for you to feel, feel free to share anything you like. Oh, that'd be wonderful. Oh, right can in. I just talk about one topic? Of course. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> climate change is the biggest threat okay. to our infrastructure, our stability, and our survival. And fortunately, there's a plan that will deal with climate change and jobs in our community. And we need to reinstate the grant program for energy retrofits for our homes and our businesses. Now this does a number of things for jobs. It creates local jobs that can't be outsourced. It supports our small businesses. It supports retail, our contractors, and our skilled labor. So there's a big job component there. It also increases energy efficiency. So uh, that decreases our energy costs, saves us money, and lowers our carbon footprint towards climate change. Mm -hmm. And it also, the bonus is it increases our comfort in our, in our buildings, and uh, it increases our property values. So it's a win-win-win all the way around. Thank you, Kara, for coming to Superior Media today. I'm Lynn Brown, signing off for Superior.